So we learned about the reduced row echelon form of a matrix. So in this video, I can give you one uh, practical application of that, which is to find the inverse of a matrix. So as the example I'm going to work, we have this matrix uh, A given here. Remember, not all matrices have inverses, but um, some of them do. They have to be square matrices. This one has an inverse. So the question here, how do we compute the inverse of this matrix? So what is the, um, the uh, meaning of an inverse? So A times A inverse is supposed to be the n by n identity matrix. Um, so here we have multiplication of uh, two n by n matrices. But you can view this as the A matrix multiplying the first column of A inverse, giving you the first column of I. Then the A matrix multiplying the second column of A inverse, giving you the second column of I, et cetera, for N columns. So we can view this as A multiplying, say, the ith column so of big A. So let me call that little a sub I inverse. So that's the ith column of big A inverse is equal to the ith column of the identity matrix. So this one I'll just call EI. Okay? So to solve for the um, A, capital A inverse, we just need to solve N equations of this type. Okay? Um, we can use uh, Gaussian elimination, but it's even uh, simpler if we just bring uh, the matrix A to uh, reduce row echelon form. So let me um, show you then what matrix then we need to work on. So we have our A matrix. So we have minus 3, 2, minus 1, 6, minus 6, 7, 3, minus 4, 4. And to that we attach the right hand sides. But the uh, first column of the right-hand side will be the first column of the identity matrix, the second column of the right-hand side, the second column of the identity matrix. So to the right hand here, we just attach the identity matrix. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that becomes our augmented matrix for this problem. And now the algorithm is, is rather than just Gaussian elimination, we bring this A matrix here to reduce row echelon form. Then we can just read off the solution. And what that means is that as we bring the A matrix to reduce row echelon form, that will actually be the identity matrix because this is an invertible matrix. Then the right-hand side will go to a inverse. So this will eventually go to the identity matrix, and then the identity matrix will go to the inverse matrix. Okay? So in some sense it will be magic, where we do this uh, Gaussian elimination-like manipulation on this matrix, and then out pops the inverse matrix. Okay? a very efficient algorithm for finding the inverse. Okay, so uh, let's do it. Um, to do that, we need to find our pivot. So we have our pivot here is the minus three. So we can eliminate everything below the pivot. So let me, um, this one then will go here. And, um, we have the first row, minus 3, 2, minus 1, and then 1, 0, 0. Okay, we multiply the first row. I can put the multiplier here by 2 and add it to the second row to eliminate the 6. So we have 0. And then we have uh, 4 minus 6 is minus 2. We have minus 2 plus 7 is 5. We have uh, 2 plus 0 is 2. 
we have 0 times 2 is 0, and 0 times 2 is 0. So 0, 1, uh, 2, sorry, 1, 0. OK. Um, and then we multiply by 1 here, right? So we're just adding the first row to the last row. So then we'll get a 0 here. And then we'll have a um, 2 minus 4 is minus 2. And we'll have a minus 1 plus 4 will give us a 3. And then we'll have a 1 plus 0 will give us a 1. A 0 plus 0 will give us a 0. And a 0 plus 1 will give us a 1. OK. Um, this minus 3, we're going to eventually want a 1 there, but there's no point to do that yet. Let's work on the next pivot first. So this is minus 2 is the next pivot. So we want to eliminate above and below. So when we go above, we just add. When we go below, we subtract and we multiply by minus 1 and add. And then uh, what do we get? So above, we're just adding to the first row. So minus 3, 0. Uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. Um, 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. The second row is just the same. 0 minus 2, 5, 2, 1, 0. The last row, we multiply by the second row by minus 1 and add it to the last row. So 0, 0. So minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. OK. Now the last pivot. Um, so sometimes it's simpler if we uh, divide by a number. Sometimes it's harder. Uh, in this case, I won't do that. So we'll save uh, converting these pivots to 1. We'll do in the last step. So this time, I want to eliminate above the minus 2. So the first one, we're going to be multiplying by 2. Okay, so this... 1 multiplies by 2 for the first row. So what will this become? So the zeros here don't do anything. So we have minus 3, 0. And then we get a 0. And then we have minus 2 plus 3 is a 1. We have a minus 2 plus 1 is a minus 1. And we have a 2 plus a 0 is a 2. OK? Now we have to eliminate this 5. Uh, unfortunately, we have fractions, so it makes my life a lot harder. But let's see. So in order to eliminate the 5, we need to multiply by 5 divided by 2 and then add. OK? So let me write that here so we can remember. So we need to multiply the last row by 5 divided by 2 and then add. So then we'll get a 0 minus 2, 0. So we just have a little bit of arithmetic here to do. So we got minus 5 halves plus 2. So 2 is 4 halves. So minus 5 halves plus 4 halves is minus a half. OK? Then we got minus 5 halves plus 1 is going to be minus 3 halves. And then we've got uh, 5 halves plus 0 will be 5 halves, OK? And then the last row is our 0, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, uh, 0. Whoops. Sorry, sorry. Ah. I am apologize. 0, 0. Okay. And then we have a minus 2, 
minus 1, minus 1, 1. Okay, so I hope you can uh, still read that over there. Um, last step, we need to, this minus 2 here, this minus 2 here, this minus 3 here, we need to convert those to 1. So let me do that here. So this is the uh, final step. So the matrix here, we divide through by minus 3. So we end up with a 1, 0, 0. Divide through by minus 3. So we have a minus 1 third. We have a 1 third. And we have a minus 2 thirds. Okay, so we have these fractions. The second row we divide through by minus 2. So we have a 0, 1, 0, right? We're getting the identity matrix. We divide through by minus 2. So we have a 1 quarter. We divide through by minus 2, so we have a 3 quarters. We divide through by minus 2, so we have a minus 5 quarters. Okay? And then the last row, we divide through by minus 2 again. So we have 0, 0, 1. And then minus 1 divided by minus 2 is 1 half. Uh, minus 1 divided by minus 2 is 1 half. And 1 divided by minus 2 is minus 1 half. Okay. I hope I did my algebra right. What did we do here? So we had a AI here, and we converted it to I A inverse. So this matrix here is our A inverse. Right? This matrix here was our A. So if my arithmetic was correct, then A times A inverse will give us the identity matrix. Okay? So what I showed you in this video is the algorithm of uh, obtaining an inverse matrix when an N by N matrix is invertible. Uh, you do that by writing AI and then you bring A to reduce row echelon form, and I becomes A inverse. So please uh, write this down on a piece of paper and multiply these two matrices and convince yourself that A times A inverse is equal to the identity matrix. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.